Oh, God. So, I wanted to talk about things, I guess, this morning. I saw and was looking at NVIDIA's stock reports and realized that it had grown and doubled in a very short period of time, and its earning, its latest earnings reports had reported massive growth, you know, because it, it massively beat expectations. I think we are in the midst of a generative AI bubble. And I think this not because I don't think generative AI is a game changer, that I don't think it's a revolutionary technology, or because I'm not quite fond of the tech myself, but it is a little bit cumbersome to use, for one thing, and on top of that, you know, despite that reality to it, and its clunky interface that, that's behind it, you know, and that we use to interact with ChatGPT, you know, on top of that, you have an issue where, you know, this technology, you know, the dot-com bubble blew up despite the fact that, they, that the internet was a revolutionary technology because you had all these dot-com domain names opening up and everybody was pouring a ton of money into them before they even had sales and proof of the ability, you know, proving that they had sold anything and that they, you know, had any, you know, profit to them or any any viable path to profit off the domain name, even if they had just sold, you know, advertisements on their domain name. It didn't even necessarily have to have proof that they had traffic to their website before you know this dot-com bubble ended up blowing up and what happened was that the internet was truly what it delivered on its promise of being a revolutionary technology in the in the aftermath of you know the dot-com bubbles explosion and everything but it just didn't go down the way everybody expected it to and what you had was a situation where market enthusiasm basically outran the technology itself and its ability to deliver on the promises that it put forward. And that story is a familiar story by now. It, it reminds me a lot of what's happening in the world of generative AI. Here you have a nauseant technology that has only just recently been invented. The breakthroughs just recently happened within the last couple of, you know, like 18 or so months. And, you know, you have a market that's going gangbusters for it already, and you can hardly find a company that is talking about, you know, technology in the tech space that isn't hyping the shit out of AI at this point. And, you know, it all, you know, not only that, but we, we have scenes like, you know, NVIDIA's founder, you know, basically signing a girl's tits, like, you know, boobs, and I just... I I think that this is re very reminiscent of the euphoria phase of um, of a bubble. You know, it, it it strikes me as very much so one, despite the revolutionary potential of you know generative AI. It's a true game changing technology, but market enthusiasm has gone you know way too far, and and it's it's basically outrunning the technology itself. That, like I said, still has a clunky interface, is still cumbersome and burdensome to use you know, sucks the joy out of development, too, for a lot of developers, because 90% of their job now is going to be, you know, uh, fixing all the bugs that ChatGPT, you know, introduces to its code, and, you know, spitting it back into ChatGPT and the errors that it makes. You know, you're not really going to be able to, to replace somebody, you know, the, you know, a coder or a developer with it. A developer's job might change, with this, they might be able to tell ChatGPT to do things for companies, but they're still going to have to, you know, feed back in, you know, ChatGPT's errors and tell it to fix its com its errors, and then test the code and make sure that it actually executes and does the job it said it was going to do and everything. And you know, that's still a pretty high end salary to be a prompt engineer right there and doing all that work, and you know. So it's not really going to be able to replace those jobs and offset them. And, you know, this hype, you know, is outrunning the technology itself in such a way where, it, you know, the dislocation of all this malinvestment going into it before it's truly ready to, to really upend anything and... Oh no.
watered my rose bush a bit too much there. <laughs> Left on while I was asleep. All right, well, that's taken care of. You know, I've got a rose bush that is dying in the summer heat, so I was decided to actually water it, so, you know. But anyways, the it's the nascent technology that really isn't ready for all of this investment. Truly revolutionary, but you have what I would describe as market dislocation, where, you know, it has poured a ton of money into it before the technology has really had time to, like a meal, be cooked properly. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just not ready for this much money to be poured into it. <laughs> 